guys, got another video review for you. This time we're taking a look at something a little bit special. We're taking a look at the Mach-A Toys Battle Tanker upgrade for uh, BotCon 2012 Shadow Glass Optimus Prime. Now this is a repaint of a add-on that they did for the Reveal the Shield G2 Laser Optimus Prime, which I also have. Um, and they also have, also actually have one more coming for Shattered Glass BotCon 2012 box set Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus, which is a mouthful. <laughs> but um, I was going to get that one too. I don't even know if it's out yet. Um, this one came out first. Uh, but uh, I had to cut back on spending a little bit. Uh, and that was an easy choice to make for the first one to go. Um, this guy is... An upgrade to that upgrade kit. Um, I do have that upgrade kit too. Like I said, um, the the, um, the trailer is basically the same, but we have some add-on bits in the front. And we're gonna get on. We're gonna get to everything. But since I've never reviewed it before, we treat this as a, as a new review. So as you can see, the color matches very nicely. This is actually in, in person a little bit darker of a purple than the purple on here, but it does match very well. It does look awesome together. Um, we got the logo in the front. Till all are gone. For a shattered glass, which I, which I dig. Um, this does just attach via the sword. Optimus's sword it becomes the hitch. Um, it does have armor bits on the on the hood and on the grill on the front on the bumper. There's a new bumper and a new hood piece. Um, these end up becoming the shoulders. Um, the only negative about this set really so far. Um, I just put it together now, but um, the only negative is you have to remove the these um, these spikes go in those holes, and you have to remove them. Otherwise, it'll lift up off the off the uh, off the surface, so it won't roll. So if you want it to roll, you actually need to uh, remove those spikes. Um, and it actually does roll very very nicely when it's all together. Which is pretty pretty darn cool, but uh, yeah, there's just a peg right there. It just goes right in the hitch. It does roll very nicely. Um, it is self-contained except for, like I said, the spiky bits and some add-on bits, which we'll get to in a minute. That's a little preview if you know what the sound is. Um, but we'll take this is the um, the way the when I reviewed this guy, I talked about Laser Prime's uh, tank tanker. Uh, and this is what it looked like, basically, except it was a little bit bigger and, you know, more G1-y, you know, more boxy and blockier than this. But this is the basic shape of what it looked like, more like an oil tanker, kind of, than a box truck. So, like I said, he's, this becomes the chest piece, but just gives him more armor. Um, lots of clip points. It does add a lot of clip points and stuff. But, um, and then the tanker uh, has all the... These are the legs. You can see the fist right there, crotch pieces right there, um, a new sword handle, a backpack for the sword. Um, it's still very well balanced. It's actually a little bit back heavy, so it actually tilts backwards, so it, it can actually roll on its own. Very, 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 very well made. Very, 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 very nicely put together. Chrome bits. This is just plastic, uh, silver plastic, but very nice looking chrome bits. So the other side's identical, just mirror image. Um, clip points on the top. It's just very, very, very well made. Very high quality uh, third party, third party figure. Um, you do have to change some things on Optimus himself, and I will get to that in a minute here. But um, what I'm gonna do is, since you've already seen this guy transformed, the only difference is you've gotta pop, you pop that off. Other than that, the transformation is identical. So what I'm going to do is, uh, in a second here, I'm just going to transform this guy uh, back up into uh, robot mode, and then we're going to uh, show him off a little bit, just what the changes are, and then we'll we'll combine them up and show him all together and uh, beefed up. So yeah, we'll be right back in one second. All right, so here we have Optimus transformed into robot mode. Um, as you can see right off the bat. That is a new head. So you, what you actually have to do, let me zoom in so you can see the head. I do dig the head. I think I do dig the head better than I like the stock head. But as you can see, the head 
is actually bigger. And when you look at them cohesively, the heads just look out of place. And that's because when we get all the pieces off of this guy to bulk him up, he's going to be a lot bulkier, he's going to be taller and beefier. So it does need a new head, otherwise you'll have a big hip body. You need a beady head, so this way the head is more proportional. Um, they did take more liberties with the head, and they made it more of a an optimist face, which is cool. It's got a cracked uh, battle plate and everything. Um, no light piping, but it just does, it unscrews. The old head just unscrews, pulls apart, you break it off at the, 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 the light piping piece goes on the peg, you pop it off the ball, pop this piece on, screw it on, and you're done. So that is the new head. Like I said, no light piping, just painted eyes. Uh, they are red eyes, evil looking. That's what came undone. Um, the next new piece is actually in the chest, if you notice. Um, something I, I forgot to mention in the normal review of this guy is if you look inside here, there is an actual... right there. Up in there. Not this gray piece. There's actually the insides of the windows when you fold them in actually create a matrix inside. You know, it's just molded in, but it does actually create a matrix. Um, I don't know if I knew that and I forgot, or if I just didn't know that. Um, either way is totally possible. I honestly don't remember. But yeah, you get this add-on piece here. And what this is, is in the original version of this, you had to pull the chest plate, the not the chest plate, but the torso up, just to beef him up a little bit so he's not so, too squat. So what this piece is, is it's a spacer to hold him, to hold the torso up taller. Um, stays in during transformation, always stays in. And then it also has a little molded in matrix, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, like I haven't changed the transformation at all, it just stays in there. I haven't you know, modified the figure. All the changes you have to make in this are uh, semi-permanent, they're all just either screws or tabs, like that. Um, the other piece you have to change is the waist, the crotch piece. Um, the old crotch piece, this part was painted gold. Uh, kind of like that gold, like right here in the actual crotch. Um, but basically it doesn't matter if this is all black because we're going to put a crotch piece on there. If you notice, there's two tabs, two holes right there, and the new crotch piece tabs onto that. So that's just, it's, this is just to facilitate the new crotch piece. This is just a holder for the new crotch piece, so that doesn't really matter. You know, that's all black, not painted. Alright, so yeah, let's build this guy up now. Um, the first thing we're going to do is take these gold spiky bits. I'm going to plug them into the holes. Remember I said you can't have them in vehicle mode because they just scrape along the floor. So just plug all four of these in. Two on each side. Okay, that is done. Next thing we're gonna do, take the chest piece that was on the hood of the vehicle mode, and there is a clip on the bottom, right in there, and that just kind of hooks on the underside of it. Like that. Moderate force and it clips in, and these are just on hinges. Those just fold down. It actually gives you three millimeter clips up on the top. Let me just make sure. That, yeah, it's in there. Good. It actually gives you three millimeter clips up there and three millimeter clips up here so that you can do some three millimeter clip action. So that's him so far. So now we're actually going to put him to the side. We're going to pick up, actually we're going to take him off frame and take a look at the battle tanker itself. And basically, what we're going to do is on the back side here you see a sword hilt kind of hanging out out of nowhere. Um, we're actually going to unpeg that. So this is basically, he comes with a sword. This is the hilt for the sword. The blade is in the tanker. Um, this backpack and holder go in prime in a minute and uh, hold the sword. That's optional. Um, if you look on the back, here's the crotch piece. If we wiggle this free, this is not only the crotch piece, but also the fists. 
He has new fists. And then on the, on the underside, we just basically pull these off. These are going to be his feet. And then last but not least, his forearms are inside. So what we do is we lift this part up and then we split it. Actually, and then we pull, pull the front plate off. These become missiles, split it in half. Here's the sword hilt, as you can, uh, blade as you can see, and these are the forearms. So we pull this off. These are our guns. This guy is very heavily armored. Sorry, can't get everything in frame. I'm just taking stuff out right now, so it's really nothing crazy. Guns off to the side. Forearms. Inside we have the blade. And not much else, but this will also become a weapon. So, put him off to the side. I don't even know where the hell to put this thing. Okay, put that off to the side. Prime comes back into frame. So we can begin the beefening. So what we want to do is we will do the crotch and the feet. Let's do the feet first. Feet. What you want to do is fold the feet up for transformation, so fold the front bits up and the heels back. Just like that. And you basically give him stubs so he can't stand up anymore. Take the feet and you want to flip them, fold it like that. And then it's actually backwards, so you want to rotate it around at the, uh, there's a bolt joint in the foot. But it's backwards, so you want to rotate that out. Same thing with the other one. See, they fold it up, kind of wonky. You fold the toe and the heel. Rotate it around until the toe is front. The fat part is the toe. You can leave this flap open for now. Uh, you'll notice there's a cut <coughs> for the wheel. So we take prime. And you want the wheel cut to match up. So obviously it won't match up on that side. All right, so what you want to do is you want to get this in there and then line it up and there's pegs on the underside and they will lock in to the underside of the foot. And this can be a pain in the butt. There we go, it clicks. Let's make sure it makes clearance on the wheel. Peg it in to the foot. There's a peg in, uh, in this in this bit right here, and it folds up in there, just like that. Oh, sorry. Same thing on the other side. Get it in there. Clip it in. Peg it in. So we're already extra beefy. Already, very cool. There we go. So next, we'll do the waist. All right. So here we have the crotch piece. Uh, as you can see, it's all new, much more detailed. Uh, like I said, it's got two clips, two pegs on the back, and they just peg in to the holes. Remember, I said there's holes in the new waist piece, a new crotch piece. And they literally just slide into those holes. There we go. Um, they are also articulated, so you can't actually fold them back uh, more along the body. Make sure that's in there. So that's the crotch. Amazing crotch, isn't it? Take the fists, and they literally just have five millimeter, five millimeter pegs on them and he just literally holds them in his old hands. So now he has, you're basically giving him Hulk hands. Um, those tabs are for holding the crotch piece on in vehicle mode, you know, with the vehicle. There's his Hulk hands. Stand. Okay. 
Next we take these four the forearms and there's a three millimeter clip and I have to remember does it go this way? Yeah. So you want it you want the cut part to go toward the elbow. And there's a peg little clip point, a little peg right there, and there's a hole right like a divot for it. So that actually goes around that. And then underneath here, right here is like the gas tank part of the vehicle mode. And you want to clip this onto that. It actually takes ah, a not insignificant amount of force. There we go. But that beefs up the forearm. So again, that protrusion right there will go around the divot right there. See that divot? Um, you can clip it on first if you want. Um, I find it's just easier to do it this way. Just put it around that divot. And these clip points are connected by balls. So they do you know, provide motion. So there we have him all beefed up. I think he's looking pretty rad. So the next thing we can do is, if you so desire, is you can take this backpack, come around to the back. Um, you actually don't, do you have to split it open? Mm, yeah. So come back here, split open the backpack, and see there's two clips. Those kind of line up in, ro in vehicle mode um, with the, the legs to make the, the, uh, the trailer. There's two divots right there. And you just peg it onto those, seal that back up, and now you have a way to store his sword. And speaking of his sword, we are going to get that. So we take the trailer bit, the sword is just in there, remove it from the trailer, peg it into the hilt. The original version this guy actually came with. Um, this backpack part had a wire going into the hilt. It had two hilts. It had this hilt and another one, and the other one had an LED and it would light up the blade, which is cool. But they got rid of that for this one. And you can have him holding his sword. And his sword kind of has the metallic flake that the, uh, the clear plastic on this guy normally has, but not as much and not as defined. But it is a cool looking sword on the, all, all the same. Nonetheless, all the same, nonetheless. Uh, if you don't want to display him with the sword, you can clip it onto this backpack. And it's actually on a bowl joint, on a swivel. So you can have it slung across either way, straight up and down, you know, whatever you want. So we'll leave that like that for now. And then what we're going to do Is take his. You know what? Let's do articulation real quick. All the articulation is the same. Um, the only difference is now his shoulders are a little bit more hindered because of all the extra bulk. That's it. Um, guns are exactly the same as the previous release. Um, he can hold them if you wish in his Hulk hands. There you go. That is a look. I'm not crazy about him holding the guns. I think the guns themselves look better on the tank, the tanker, which we'll get to shortly. But you can totally have him holding the guns if you desire. So the other thing that's actually new with the set is, one second here, sorry. I want to get him to stand well. Is these guys. And these are actual metal chains with spikes on the end. So basically, what these are supposed to represent are these spikes. So you can actually turn them into a weapon. So 
what you can do is just pound peg one of these spikes, plug this end into the spike hole, and you can totally just do whatever you want with the chain. You can have them hold it like that. You can have it any which way you want. Um, the only problem is there's no like stem to hold on to. So he has to hold it by this if he wants to hold it like as a weapon. Otherwise he's just literally going to drape it like that. Um, you do get two. Two chains. And they are really good chains. They're nice metal. Nice metal chains. So yeah, that's the other new add-on for this guy. I'm just going to remove this for now. I have no idea how I'm going to display him yet. I have not decided. But... Um, the other thing I forgot to put on him is, if you want, you can take the front of the, the tanker, split in half, and now you have missile pods, and there are these square holes and square pegs on the legs, and you can just literally tab these in and give him some uh, rocket pants, rocket shoes, pocket sand, and give him some rockets on his, uh, some missiles on his feet. Why not? So yeah, so there he is. Basically all beefy. Why don't you want to stand right now? There you go. There he's all beefed up. I think he looks pretty darned awesome. If you ask me. Which are because you're watching the video. But yeah, I think he looks pretty awesome like this. Now. We're going to come back here. Disconnect the sword for now. Because. We're going to show off. Put him to the side. And we are going to do this with the weapon, with the, the tanker. So basically this whole tanker is a giant weapon. So what you want to do is slide these panels down thusly. Lift everything up and out of the way. Kind of extend. Oh, that's a tight hinge. Um, if you look in here, there's a circle, and there's a little dot, and then on that dot, I highly doubt I'll be able to show you guys. Oh, I can. There's an arrow on that dot, and that tells you which way it's facing. So what you want to do is grab the whole assembly, because everything's on balls and hinges, and you want to rotate it so that arrow is pointing the other way. So I'm just going to do this off camera because you guys will never be able to see it. Okay. And now it's just a matter of finagling. So what you want to do is in here, come in here and flip this up and this gives him handles. Do that on both sides and then give him handles to hold on to the rocket pod. And also flip this part down. That gives him a kind of like a heel almost to, uh, to hold this guy up. And it's just a matter of really finagling this guy and getting it how you want it. Alright, so sorry guys. I had to do that all off camera because it's way too tight and I just couldn't get in there to show you. But basically what you do is you fold that backpack of the two... Uh, you know, the two side panels that fold up in the backpack, you fold those flat down and then you slide this whole unit on top of it, there's grooves that slide into it. And then you kind of finagle all the joints in the back where these connect to the, to the you know, to the actual unit. And that gives, there's a cavity that it creates so that you can fold all the joints back in there. It's just way too hard for me to show you. Um, and then you just take, now you can take this top piece and there's a little visor you can flip out. And then you can angle this in front of his face to give him like a targeting reticle. If you want. And there he is. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. All beefed up. 
So that is totally a look you can do, which still on his own does look pretty cool. Let me pull this up out of the way so you can see him a little bit better. Alright guys, sorry, I keep running into technical issues, but as I believe I was saying, uh, this is how I have the original version of this mold, of this uh, this add-on kit displayed, um, you know, with the faceplate down and everything. Oh, you know what else I forgot? Sorry. Remember I told you about the guns and how I like them on the unit itself. You can actually take the guns, come along the side, and I forgot to do this. So what you have to, let me unpeg this. And you can actually rotate this whole section out, jam this back up in his fist, there we go, do it on the other side too. Good if everything actually stayed lined up, which doesn't always like to happen, but so you can now come along the side here and peg the guns in. And you can keep you can peg them in the other way while them flipped out, but this actually keeps them uh, a little more flush. With the gun, it actually gives it a cleaner look. So now, you can see that the guns can be on the outside. I like them mounted better like that than uh, the way he holds them. Personal preference, you can do any way you want. So yeah, there is, he is all beefed up and ready for battle. As you can see, he's got rocket pods in the front. Um, the other one, the original version, these were painted differently. I think they were red, I want to say. Um, on here, they're silvery chrome, and they're really, the color scheme on this guy is just amazing with the gold and the silver. And all the accents they added with the upgrade kit, it just really makes him look awesome. So if you want to display him thusly, you can give him some big arse cannons on his arms with some rockets, and he's got spikes, and he's got all kinds of beefiness. So there he is. Sorry, I gotta actually move the camera manually to show you everything, but there he is, all beefy and looking ginormous. So yeah, just give me one second here. I think I'm just going to disconnect the beefiness upgrade and just give some final thoughts. So give me one second here. Alright guys, so let's uh, do some final thoughts. So, as an upgrade kit, this is probably one of my favorites that they've done as term in terms of a co cohesive kit. You know, everything self-contained. Just every little bit adds something nice. This is, uh, I wouldn't say way better than the original version, but it is the bits that they add, the new shoulder bits, the chains are a nice touch. Overall, the quality on this thing is just amazing. The paint to match this guy, they went above and beyond with all the silver and the colors are just outstanding. If you own the Botcon Shatterglass Prime, I highly, highly, highly suggest picking this kit up. I mean, you saw what the original figure looked like compared to this. I mean, this just sets the bar way higher for that guy. It's just totally, totally beefs him up. Totally makes him look more badass. The old figure is a little bit too skeleton-y. It's very thin, kind of like, you know, like scrawny. This just beefs him up and makes him look a thousand times better. It's just a totally awesome kit. Um, if you do own the figure, I do. I would highly suggest getting this kit. If you do not own the figure, I don't know. 
I wouldn't really suggest going out of your way to get it just for this kit. Uh, mostly due to price, because I have no idea what this guy's going for, secondhand. Uh, like I said in the previous video, I would assume over 100, and this the upgrade kit's like 130. So you're looking at, you know, close to $250 of an investment to get this. Yeah, it's up to you if that's really worth it. Um, if you're going to do that, I would say check, I would, you know, if, you, if you're more on a budget, you can get the Reveal the Shield Laser Prime for like 20 bucks. And you can get the old version of this probably for a hundred. So, you know, you can get the ninety to ninety five percent the same way, you know, as he looks here. Just you won't get you won't get the shoulders, you won't get the chains, um, you'll get a light up sword. If you had the first version, which I have, you have the uh, an extra sword, uh, for drift, to give him his drift sword, to give him his um called the spark sword, if you've read the uh, the comic. Uh, which is really cool, and you also get an extra blade, which is like the the drift blade for him. So it's just a skinny long blade with the same hilt. I mean, if you can find that version, get that because you get the extra sword and everything. But you probably won't be able to find that anymore. Um, I know, like TF Source, and I think Big Bear got new stock of it. So you, you know, now is a good time to see if they still have it. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention is. That matrix, that matrixy extension piece. They actually give you two of those. So if you do have the original version of this, like I do, you can just slide that in there, and they give you an extra piece. So you know, so you can use it on that figure, which I think is totally awesome by them. But yeah, I mean, I'll, you also don't get the new chest on the on the uh, on the other version, which is kind of a shame. But so I mean, the ad, the upgrades that they did to this upgrade are just, I think, are just great. I mean, I'm super, super happy with it. I, I literally just, you know, this is the first time I'm ever really seeing him all together. Oh, excuse me. I haven't, you know, I, I just, up, I just opened the package, played with him for a few minutes, and shot the video. So, because I already knew the kit from before, so I didn't have to, you know, have a lot of hands-on time with it to tell you how it is. Uh, also, these guns don't actually fit in on the outside. You actually do have to flip those bits around to get them to go in. So just a side note. The final detail till all are gone, which is the shattered glass logo for them. I, it's just great. There's extra clip points on here, up there. It's just the the amount of detail they went to, the only amount of work. I mean, it's just absolutely, absolutely great. I, you know, I can't recommend this kit enough. If you have shattered glass, Optimus Prime. But like I said, if you don't, it might not be worth it to you. That's really up to you. I suggest if you can find him cheap, go for it. Get it now, you know, before the prices go up. Because the price is only going to go up. But yeah, now we're, oh, the only other downside I don't like is there's really nothing to do with this guy. He's too. This sword is now more or less too small for him to hold. I mean, he can't hold it. It's not like he physically can't hold it. But... This guy is too beefy for this now, so this sort of kind of goes on the wayside, but just look at him. Totally awesome. I say go for him if you can. If not, it's not the end of the world. There's another one of these guys coming out. It's almost identical to this for Shattered Glass Ultra Magnus, which is the same mold, but blue, you know, blue and red, different colors. And the face is different. Um, the face on Shattered Glass Ultimate, uh, uh, Ultra Magnus is actually really cool. So I decided to save some money. I, I was I had both of these pre-ordered event originally, but I just kept this one, and I'm gonna keep Shadow Class uh, Ultra Magnus the same for now, unless they happen to go on sale. The other the other kid happens to go on sale dirt cheap, and I'll grab it. But I really don't see the need for both of them. So if you have the box set, that's he's from the box set. So if you have the, you have the box set, you can go for that. But now I'm rambling, so let me just end this before I go too crazy. So yeah, this has been the video review. I forgot the exact name of this kit. Um, I should have looked it up, but it's something where it's like Commander Trailer Add-on. Uh, I forgot the exact name, but it's the Maki Toys Battle Tanker Upgrade for BotCon 2012 Shadow Glass Optimus Prime. I say go for it if you can, like I said. But yeah, again, rambling. Video review. This has been the video review for the Maki Toys trailer upgrade.